Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will learn to make a simple data entry form. As per the need and requirement, we will enter the name, your city, state, country, your qualification. These things uh, I will enter and I will make a form of uh, in the Excel. It is a fully automated data entry form and uh, without uh, VBA. So in the sheet one, I will make the sheet one rename as form. In an another sheet, it will be your data base where these entries will get entered. So if, if I enter the entries in the form in this sheet, so for that I have to prepare a simple form. So I'm selecting C3 and C4 together and dragging my mouse together to up to I. So press uh, margin center and write the text data entry form. I can select this uh, cell text and uh, change the font to Arial black, change the font size to 24 as per the requirement, make it bold and uh, align it in the middle. Now downside C6 and D6 I have selected. Uh, these two cells I will make it as uh, common that is merge in center and press the entries as text name. Then again, I will select these two cells, uh, make it a uh, margin center. Then here it will be your gender. Then in next two cells, margin center, it will be qualification. Then in the next two cells, after margin center, it will be your uh, city. Next, it will be your state and next it will be your country so these entries I want from the person I can select by pressing control select with the help of mouse these together and align towards the left then uh, make it bold change the font to Arial black change the font says to 12 and in the data entry form I can change the color to a little dark gray now uh, here these are the grid lines go to view and uncheck the grid lines so it will be a complete white blank sheet now I will go to home and select this where we could pressing control I can have a color as blue now I will go to the right area the blank area I will press with the help of mouse the right click and go to customize the ribbon and uh, click on the checkbox uh, developer and you will see the developer get opened in the tab now the developer go to insert controls so here I want a text box uh, for name entries And go to insert again go to for qualification I need a combo box insert a combo box control for qualification for a city I need a text box and for state also I need a text box for country also a text box is required 
now so these things i have added with the help of developer now for gender also i need an option box that is option button so i can enter here either male and either female i can select these text box and comma box together by pressing control and go to page layout and put align left now accordingly i can increase the size as per the requirement now for option button click both the option button uh, go to align and click on align middle now select uh, any one option box and change the entries to male for this uh, change the entries to female now here downside i need uh, a command button that from the developer tab i will insert a button that is to be here press assign macro button 8 click and change the entries to save and I press this button so this entries will get saved so it will be a save button similar button can be uh, insert from and it will be your it will be your reset button Now select the area which I want for form and uh, you can fill the color as per your requirement. Make it in this way and do the entries in thick box order only for here also uh, make it thick box so it will look like a form now i want that these entries when i enter these entries should get entered in the database so here i need name then gender then qualification then city then state and then country so increase the size cells select these entries together make it as bold change the font to arial black change the font size to 12 align in the middle towards the left properly now select these uh, cells together control c come to form Control V.
now uh, we have to assign the uh, uh, these uh, entries and we have to link these entries to the specific nomenclature for uh, linking that uh, text box and comma box and your option box what I will do I will go to developer and I will go to design mode I mean design mode uh, select that first text box go to properties uh, press the linked cell where I want it is B2 next for to combo box linked cell uh, qualification it is D2 next city uh, it will be linked cell city will be E2 uh, next state it will be linked to F2 and for country it is your G G2 so these cells are linked together you can press and cross now for qualification uh, if it is a number of qualification criteria are there 10th 12th then BA MA BSC MSC PhD BCA MCA MBBS and GNM so these are the qualification so it is your O9 to O19 so go to qualification combo box properties and linked range it is O9 to O19 so it has been linked now you can just see if I uh, switch off the design mode so it is there <coughs> so I will be having this qualification here now if I press if I enter some name like Rohan it is get, uh, getting linked to this place then qualification 12th or BA then city Delhi then state Delhi country India so these things are getting entered here because I have linked this uh, data entry form to to this uh, cells now what about uh, this male or female what I will do I will go to gender so you can just see first thing if I again if I go to design mode and will press uh, format control so here it should be linked uh, with gender that is C2 C2 I will press enter so when I press when I press male it is 1 when I press uh, female it is 2 one thing I have to change that it should not be here uh, again I will select form control and I will change the cell to let it be A2 because I have this free space A2 now if I press male it is 1 if I press female it is 2 now in the gender tab uh, gender cell I have to use if function equal to if logical test if your a2 a2 is equal to what 
one then enter mail otherwise enter female close the function you can just see one means male two means female so these entries i have done so i can select these entries before selecting these cells uh, what i need uh, i need to go to developer and from the developer i have to uh, before, so that whatever the entries i need to perform here this entry should be getting automatically getting uh, entered in this database sheet for this i have to go to developer and start record macro so macro one name is there workbook and press ok so macro recording has started so select these cells control c go to database uh, click the mouse on any other cell here and press control down arrow control left arrow control right arrow now uh, uh, press uh, use relative reference and press a down arrow now control alt and v press uh, click on values press ok so these are entries are getting entered here now uh, i will go to home tab and press at the center i mean align at the center now i will uh, go to developer tab and use relative references i will switch off now i will uh, go to form and i will press uh, click on rohan and i will switch off the recording that is stop recording press stop recording now if i do some other entries As I have entered new entries so these entries should be uh, automatically get entered here so for that uh, we have to run the macro go to view and go to uh, macros so, uh, click on view macro and uh, we have already recorded this macro okay, one, so click uh, click on run so we will see that in the database these entries are getting entered so whether it is possible that we should do uh, same thing in the same manner number of times so that possibility should be avoided so that uh, to avoid this type of situation we will select this uh, save button and i will click, press uh, left right click and select assign macro uh, click the macro which i have recorded then press ok what i have done uh, uh, if i change the entries let it be here Sohan and then MCA then Pune Maharashtra so press save so you will see in the database these things are getting entered so what I have done here uh, without going directly to macro I have used the button to save the entries now uh, these entries which i have done initially now for the second entries again individually i have to remove these entries so what i want that uh, as i press reset these entries get vanished automatically now uh, for making the reset option active so i will select the so i will go to developer tab and record macro uh, it is recorded by macro 2 so here I will delete the entry of so on for qualification Pune Maharashtra India it will delete the things so these are recorded as in macro 
2. Now, uh, again, I will go to developer tab and I will stop, uh, click on stop recording. Now it has been recorded and it has been stopped. I will click on uh, right click, uh, go to assign macro and it is macro 2, press OK. So here if I enter Ra, Ram Rama qualification it is PST city Jaipur state Rajasth. So now what I will do I will select these things and I will go to home and change the font color to white uh, I will select these cells I will make it height go to customizer ribbon uh, uncheck the developer ok now I will press control F1 and it will hide the above area. Now go to uh, view and hide the formula bar. Now uh, what I want it if I click anywhere here so it will directly show me the database so for that I will insert uh, arrow uh, let it be here this I have selected I will press the entry edit text I will write down database Now I will uh, press and I will select hyperlink and I will place this document. So I have to link this uh, specific to database. So I will press OK. So as you print, as you click on this database, I will automatically get entered in the database. So same thing I will so same thing control copy go to paste what I will do will I will change the entries I can select here also insert go to picture select this arrow make it here edit text make it I don't know, as form change the required entries increase this I pull link it down place the document and when I press it it will be changing uh, taking us to form so it is linked form database <coughs> what I want here view click uncheck the grid lines Now I will enter another entry that is Kesha okay, 
मेल क्वालिफिकेशन सिटी पानीपत स्टेट हरियाणा कंट्री इंडिया प्रेस सेव गो टू डाटा बेस इट इज गेटिंग एंटर ना एफ आई वॉन्ट टू एंटर न्यू एंट्रीज सो आई विल प्रेस रीसेट सो दीज थिंग्स आर गेटिंग रीसेट गो टू फॉर्म ना नेक्स्ट एंट्रीज टू बी डन सो वी हैव टू रीसेट इट so it is getting reset now uh, i have to save the file go to control save go to desktop macro enabled on country india so it is first saved yes it is saved here